Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making tech sprites to display the amount of coins you have, but you can use them for anything. Um, but I'm going to use them for coins today. Um, all I've done so far is I've made a little tile map with my coins on it. Um, just as tiles. And then I've used this function here to change them into sprites. And I've added jumping, just so I can make my way over there. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go into extensions and install the text extension, arcade text. And now we'll make our text part. So if we make a function, I'm going to call mine create text. I'm going to drag this in. For now, set the text to test. Then in sprites, we're going to get um, this auto destroy one. Make sure it says text right here and change auto destroy to relative to camera. Then switch that on. Then, if we grab the set my sprite x, make sure it says text sprite. We're going to set the. I'm going to put mine in the top right. So to put it in the top right, set the top of it to zero. This is just for our location. And then I'm going to copy it and set the right to screen width. This will just place it in the top corner here. And now if we call the function, we should see it there. There we are, test. Um, to put it in other locations, see I could set, um, for example, if I wanted to put it in the top left, I could just get rid of left, set this to left and get rid of screen width, go up to the top left. But for now, I'll just put mine in the top right. Sweet. Um, what we're going to do now is pick our colors. So if we click on this plus, we can see the colors that we can set our text to. So I'm going to set mine as yellow on purple. There we go. You can see that now. And we can, in the text part, we get all these options. So I'm going to give mine a border. We yellow border test. It looks kind of close. If I press this plus, you can add padding, which just gives it a bit more space in there. There we are. That looks much nicer now. So my one's going to display coins. So in text part, we can also add icons. So I'm going to add an icon of a coin. There we are. Refresh that. There we are. Coin. Give it a bit more padding. Make it look nicer. There we are. Um, so now we want it, this, where it says test, we want this to instead show the amount of coins we have. So to do that, we need to make one last function, and I'm going to call that refresh text. And in this one, we're going to get the set text by text to, and then in text, we want to grab this join one, and we're going to join I'm going to put a colon there just so we can make a separation. And here we'll make a new variable coins. Oops, coins. So we'll add the refresh text in here. 
Um, so now we're going to code picking up our coins. Oh, there we go. We've seen it there. Um, oh, wait, sorry. We have to... Oh, sorry, I forgot about this part. We're going to need to copy uh, what's it, these two, the ones to place it in the top right, into here. And this is just to make sure it stays in the top right. As you can see, it moved over there. So this just means that every time it changes in size, it will still stay in the top right. Make sure you copy these two, your ones that you use to position it. Make sure you copy that into your refresh text. Now, for picking up our coins, it's slightly different. Um, usually what we do is we have this on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of the coin of kind coin. Usually we'll put in this change score by one. Um, instead, we're going to change coins by one. So first we want to destroy the coin. So destroy other sprite. And then we're going to change coins by one. And the last step on that is to call refresh text. So this is now your code for picking up coins. So as you can see here, if I jump over, I have a little display up in the top corner, and I pick up my coins. Put it in full screen. There we are. So it's a much nicer way to sort of display things than the default little score display. And you can do this for lives. Um, you could do whatever you want with this. So you could have a heart and then have your total lives there and then have that go down. So instead of losing a life, you can change lives by one, make a variable for it. Yeah, that's the basics of it. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, coming out sometime after this, We'll have a shops video, which will explain how to use this uh, to well, use the amount of coins you have to purchase items or power ups. So, for example, in my shop, I'm going to have a way to purchase a double jump so we can get up to this area here. Um, so, that video will be coming out soon after this one. Sweet. Enjoy.